Hey everybody and welcome back. My name is Suki and this is Night in the Woods. Alright, so we are out on a uh, hanging out session with Bia. <clears throat> here in Fort Lucene. I hope I'm saying that correct. So here we go. Fort Lucene. Oh my god. Yep. What the hell happened? Um, the internet? We had the internet when we used to come here. What happened to the carousel? Sold it, I guess. Who buys a carousel? Nobody who comes here. What happened to the bookstore? Also the internet. What happened to the arcade? I'm going to make a sign that says the internet and hold it up until you're done asking. <clears throat> well, that sucks. What happened to internet? Dollar Empire. Everything on sale forever. And yet Dollar Empire is still here. I think this is one thing the internet can compete with. I used to go in here when I was a kid. You could get an eraser for a dollar. A pencil for a dollar. That actually doesn't sound like a good deal. Oh god, you're right. This is... US dollar, I assume. Because um, one Namibian dollar is that's dirt cheap. You revolution. Oh my god. The Urev is still here. Haha, <laughs> yeah, this old thing. I can feel the <laughs> I can feel the edginess from here. Just looking in there makes me feel old. We are so gonna do this. There is no way I'm going in there. <clears throat> oh, for God's sake. Holy crap. I'm 14 again. Yep, pretty nuts in here. I mean, you should come in here, right? There's your shirt, like right over there. Hey, isn't that... <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Uh, hi. Hey, ladies. Hello, lady. Just so you know, we have 20% off select t-shirts. Ooh, t-shirts. Yep. Thanks a lot. Okay. Catch you later. Alright. Haha, <laughs> nice. Dead Party Boy stickers in 2017. I think they're back in. Hmm, that's cool. I bet you listen to them. Um, yeah, they're good. Yeah, if you're 30 years old and sad, I'm getting there. Hmm. Wow, I haven't seen belt buckles in a while. At least not fashionable ones. Mike at the shop has one with a rattlesnake driving a semi truck. Okay, I'm gonna do this. Do uh, cover me. I'm gonna grab one. What? No. Shh. You are not doing this. Are we gonna grab one? So, you're really going to do this? Shh, be cool. Shoplifting is no big thing. This isn't my first time doing crimes. What other crimes have you done? Shoplifting? Vandalism? Piracy? Yeah, we've all done piracy. Shoplifting again now? Anyway, I just do the easy crimes. How is this stupid idea easier? Our eyes evolved to notice movement. <laughs> like dinosaurs? If the dinosaur is moving... Wait, that's not... Never mind. So as long as you're perfectly still when the clerk is watching... Like, you're gonna freeze when she looks over. Even if you're in the middle of putting it in your pocket. And this is gonna work because dinosaurs? Just like dinosaurs. I'm going to pretend to not know you until we're done, okay? I'm not shaking. Stop shaking. Well, can I help you? Ha 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 ha, no, I'm fine.
And to the pocket, right? And to the pocket. Sweet. Okay, are you done? Oh, yeah. Shut up and let's get out of here. Oh, yeah, sweet belt buckle I'm never, ever going to wear. Rubs against my stomach. This is bad, man. You should steal something now. Pardon? Haven't you ever done, like, any crimes? I mean, yeah, I guess. Hasn't everyone? Well, get back in there, champ. What? No. Beatrice, <laughs> let me lay this out. One, the security cameras aren't even on in there. Two, the cashier clearly isn't paying attention. Three, there is not one mole cop here, as far as I can tell. I don't know. I mean... Hmm. Yeah, this is experience. And experience. Have it. I'll run interference. Okay, but I'm blaming you and driving away if I get caught. Perfect. Alright. I'm gonna run interference while you do your thing. What do you mean? I'm gonna distract the clerk. I can do this. Okay, I will admit that drawing attention is a talent you have. <laughs> I'm great at crimes. But what if I get caught? You won't. I'll just start screaming if I have to. How oh, is that a good idea? Let's go. Okay, but if this goes wrong, I'm blaming you. Join the club. Hey. Uh-huh. I've got a question. These search are 20% off. Yeah, I saw. I was wondering about something else. Okay. The name of the store. Yeah. Haha, you probably get this question a lot. Try me. So, what time do you get off later? Is it like you revolution or like your revolution? You know, no one ever asks this, but I think about it all the time. I bet. God. You know what the official business name on our checks is? Your Revolution Radical Youth <laughs> Culture Uprising Inc. Pretty cool place to work, huh? That's really dumb. Oh god, I know. Like, guys, can't we just be a store that sells cool shit to teens? Yeah, teens go nuts for this shit. The employee discount is also pretty great. I had a job once. What is that gator doing? I had a job once. Had a 100% discount. Uh-huh. When I stole shit. No, I got what you meant the first time. I bet you grab things all the time. <laughs> well, they're big into prosecuting to the fullest extent of the law here, so... Okay, I'm done looking. Let's go. Okay, it was nice talking to you. Bye now. Uh, see ya. <laughs> I can't think she got spooked. Why did you do that? You did so well, Bia. I called the cops on Shoftlifter at my own store. This... Haven't you even Shoftlifted before? No, never. Okay, now you're making me feel weird about it. Weird. Sorry. Forget it. We're home free. Really? Yeah, we're like out in open waters now. I feel kind of sick. Let's walk it off. Nope. Can't go upstairs, I guess. No jumping allowed. Is that a fish statue? Wow, I completely forgot about this giant fish head. Oh my god, I loved her. Did you ever come to the summer days thing here? Yeah, I'd like squirt people. I still have no idea how they did that. I always assumed it was some guy in there with a squirt gun. One time I saw it knock a guy down. Yeah, every year that would happen and someone would make the fuss. But like, I don't know. He showed up to be squirted by a fish fountain. Hehe. <laughs> you know the walkway up there? Past the upper food court thing? Up in the atrium? The what? The ceiling, the glass part that points up. <coughs> yeah? 
When I was a kid, I thought that's where God lived. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I don't know. I just remember staring at it when I was a kid, like eating a burger and trying to see if I could see God, like peeking over or something. It looks like they've got some weird hanging art up there now. Wanna go up and see? Nah, my knees are killing me from work. You up for eating? Let's check out the rest of the mall first. Work up an appetite. I was kind of hungry when we got here. Smelters? Country. Nothing to say? Okay. Book Rook. Vibes music. Well, this should be good. I wonder what kind of... Oh, come on. There's no one working in the counter. Oh, wow. Hello? Anyone here? Jeez. This is bleak. This is like something out of a failed state or something. <laughs> What's that? When you make a country and it doesn't work out. So, like this country? Hey. <laughs> Hey. <laughs> Jeez. Ruins. Let's see what they've got. Honky Tonk Armageddon. Club Girl rolling hard on that E at this rave remixes. <sighs> Let's try that. Whoa, I'd actually listen to that. Just to see what the hell it even means. <laughs> Cover's got a pickup truck exactly like my uncle's. But this one's on fire and flying at a dragon's face. <laughs> oh, shit. Upgrade. <laughs> That's pretty sweet. Oh, uh, hey, it's that band. What band? You know. You remember this song? At that video that people posted like a zillion times? I have literally no idea what you're talking about. I had that weird ho it had that weird horse in it. Picture of a horse. Okay, yeah, I remember. Had a weird horse in it. Oh god, yeah, that horse was all <laughs> I wish I could speak pictures. I remember. That's pretty cool. Yeah, we have officially remembered that video. We did it! Nothing else. Awesome. Wow. A person. Hello? Okay, bye. That's the exit. Huh. Thought there was more to this place. Nope. This isn't even a mall. This is like a hallway with crap in it. Wow. Look at the big, dark, empty parking lot. Yeah, I'm not sure if it's ever been filled. There aren't enough people in the whole town. Probably not. It's like a big black ocean. With a fish-tastic on the other side. Oh, shit. I got a weird fever from eating at that fish tastic. Well, let's go eat, I guess. <coughs> I love this art style, it's very easy to animate. Talking about unity. Because there's a still, there's a move. There's a turn. Well, not now. You up for eating? Yeah, we checked out everything. Let's eat. Okay. I expected more excitement. Wall food core diner. Oh, what a feeling. See? That wasn't hard. <laughs> what did you get? You inhaled it before I got a look. <laughs> Pizza taco from Gopher. 
pierogi, pierogi burger from Salt Salter Burger. Pizza taco sounds nice. Go for some good garbage food. Yeah, I wish we'd get one in town. Ooh, that would be bad for me. It'll be worth it. It's raining. What? Remember when Kathy Dem Daminko pulled out Cindy Clark's nose ring here? Oh yeah. You know what? You know what that was about, right? Wasn't Kathy pregnant with what was his name? Football guy? Ron Boonstra. I didn't know you knew about that. Well, I mean, there was the first football game of our senior year. <clears throat> and Ron ran up to the sideline and yelled at the stands. My first touchdowns for my beautiful firstborn and his mommy, Kathy Daminko. That's something. Kathy was in marching band and she was crying, I think. And then he dumped her for Cindy a week later. Oh, yeah. See, that's the part I know about. That's what set off the whole nose ring situation. I wonder what happened to Cindy. I imagine she got a new nose ring. Or, conversely, never wanted a nose ring ever again. You know what the worst part of this story is? The sordid high school drama? Cindy having something ripped out of her face? Ron? Probably Cindy having something ripped out of her face. At the time, I was like... <clears throat> God moves things around in the strangest way to bring two people together. I don't know if I even believe in God. Same, really. Thinking about this place, the fountain and the God walkway and stuff. Not knowing how something worked used to seem like magic. Now, not knowing means it might be going wrong and I may not be able to fix it. Help knowing someone was at the controls, you know. Now I'm just tired all the time from the shop. When I was at school, yeah. Ah, don't even want to talk about it. What happened anyway? You want to run around the mall some more? Uh, there's not really much else to run around. We can check out the weird bad art upstairs. I want to touch it. Please don't. I want to run. You run. I'm gonna sit here. I'm tired and sad now. <laughs> sit yourself. That is some pretty weird art. I mean, looks like pieces of... I can stand on them. Oh god, alright. Let's have a look at this prompt first. Space for the Rocks Cosmic, an installation by Roarford Gyms, sponsored by Dollar Empire. Caution, do not stand on the art. Well. Oh, wow. Is this... <laughs> Fantastic. Wow, hey. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Holy crap! Ah! <laughs> it's hard to aim this thing. Oh, right in the head. Uh, that was a miss. Uh, ah. Oh man, no, that's you. <laughs> oh man, how are you doing that? <laughs> oh, 
Okay, okay, someone's gonna call the cops. <laughs> Beatrice Santello. Ha 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 ha, don't give them our names. <laughs> Beatrice Jones. Oh wow, is that you, God? Yes, it is I, God Stevenson. <laughs> I didn't know you had a last name. Silence, mortal. Through my fish monster, I have lain waste to your kind. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. That was pretty magical. Silence! I shan't say it again. You and your good and noble companion shall get ice cream on the way home. Ha <laughs> ha. Uh, yeah, we should probably get out of here. Ha ha ha. Before you're arrested. Ha 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 ha. The cops shall be confused and stuff and beat each other up. For I am God and I hate cops. Okay, okay. Get down here. Have a good one, mortal. <laughs> Because it's not sticking it to the man. The man isn't going to lose anything here. But she will get in a lot of trouble. She's just a cog in a much bigger machine, huh? Sure, whatever. Return the shit. Okay, okay, I'm good. Hi. Hello. We're back. Yeah, we stole some shit. Here's that shit. We don't want you to get in trouble with your boss. It's not your fault the world is like it is. What? You stole this? You're just a cog in a much bigger machine. To blame you would be like blaming a thing inside a whole thing. So you're returning stolen merchandise. One day folks like you are going to overthrow the whole thing. What whole thing? The whole thing. We're leaving. Stay strong you beautiful dreamer. You have nothing to lose but your chains. What? This place to be used to be something. I mean, it is still something. Nah, just a big mostly empty thing. And a big mostly empty parking lot. Well, you work with what you have. Let's never come here again. Don't have to convince me. I only came here because you wanted to. Well, Fortlessine used to be something. Now Fortlessine's over. Let's go. Let it die in peace. Let it die. I want to drive on the way home. Nope. <laughs> you know, it's worth a try. Bandit Queens. <laughs> of the F.T. Lucene Mall. All hail fish god. Hey, Dad. What's up, Dad? Heard you had a wild time last night. Yeah. I didn't drink. It works better if you let me accuse you first. <laughs> right. Here's my hangover cure. Not drinking the night before. It's true. It works. Wow, hold on. Let me write that down. It's complicated, I know. What did you do tonight? Went out with Bea. You have a good time? Yeah, she's kind of... I don't know. Like she's older. Like, much older. And kind of sad. Well, she's been through a lot. Yeah. Hey, Dad, would you mind moving the boxes in the crawl space? Oh, thank God. Well, what have you done for me lately? Being an excellent daughter, being a credit to this family. That doesn't count. <laughs> well, would you watch some TV with me? Yeah, for a little bit. Nah, I'm heading to bed. Yeah, sure. Hop up, I'm watching Garbo and Malloy. Oh, God. Nice. Welcome back, folks. It's a big TV. Out of a show tonight. Same alloy. Yes, Carbo. Ever get the feeling that disaster's right around the corner? Sure do, right before we even start the show every night. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Woo. You superstitious, Garbo? Not anymore. What happened? I've broken every mirror I've ever owned. And now I'm lucky enough to never have to look at this mug. Ha 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 ha. Woo. Yeah, but what about the rest of us? Uh, that's a whopper. Ha 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 ha. Coming up next, Garbo and I join a cult. Oh. 10 out of 10 entertainment right there. 
Should have gone to the church. I didn't. My bad. Everybody's asleep. I guess that means I will probably sleep too. Okay, so he'll move that tomorrow, maybe? Let's check out the computer. I think Greg is more likely to do crimes. Hopefully you get to hang out with him again. I would hate to miss or miss hanging out. Hey, cool mall times. Pretty cool mall times, yes. I hope we didn't make too much of a mess with that fountain. Who's we? I'm merely sitting here when I was assaulted with mall water. <laughs> I will not rest until that fountain is brought to justice. Tell the world my story. They must know. Okay, I'm going to sleep. I hope the nightmare aren't too horrible. It's a trauma I shall bear forever. Grego. Hey, hey, dude. What did you do tonight? Nothing much. Stole something. For Angus. It's a surprise. Wow, what isn't? Hold on for a sec. Oh, crap. I gotta go. Talk to you later. Okay, weirdo. You okay? Weirdo? Hi, Mr. Shark. Hello. Well, I guess it's time to go to bed. And, uh, anything else changed? No, not yet. Okay. Bedtime. Do you ever change those clothes? Jeez. Oh, well, guys, I appreciate a like. I appreciate a comment. I would appreciate it even more if you tap that like or sub button. Sorry. <laughs> I've done that outro like 50 times by now, and I still don't have it down. Oh, well, it's the wonder of doing YouTube. Um, anyway, guys, I appreciate it. Appreciate you being here supporting the series. Thanks a lot, and I'll see you in the next one.